Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for new updates. CZSPO-1 Originally designed as a military and law enforcement sidearm, the SP-01 is currently in use by security forces fighting in the global war on terror. With an integral 1913 accessory rail on the dust cover, rubber grip panels and CZ's corrosion-resistant black polycoat finish, the SP-01 is one of the most popular variants in the CZ-75 family. Because of its exceptional accuracy and superior handling characteristics, the CZ SP-01 has also found a place in the world of sport and target shooting. Hello, my name is Graham Rockwell of Ruger Firearms. We're here today to talk about the new Ruger American Rifle Branch Model and 450 Bushmaster. Included on the Ruger American and 450 Bushmaster are all your standard Ruger American Rifle features. Soft rubber butt pad, FDE lightweight stock, the Ruger Marksman adjustable trigger, patented power bedding system, a one-piece rail, great feature for hunting, short 16 and 8 inch free floating barrel, and for the 450 Bushmaster, a factory installed Ruger muzzle brake. We developed the Ruger American Rifle and 450 Bushmaster trying to capture the power of the 4570 round in a light five and a half pound compact rifle, great for hunting. Your typical Hornady round will look at 250 grains with a muzzle velocity of 2200 feet per second. So if you're interested in the Ruger American Rifle and 450 Bushmaster for your next hunting trip, please check out your local firearms retailer or at ruger.com. Thank you. Ruger Firearms, I'm here to introduce a Red Hawk. Red Hawk was originally released in 1980. It was originally chambered in 44 mag. It has been chambered in 357 mag and 41. Today we have 357 mag eight shot revolver. Features a red ramp front sight, a white outlined rear sight for quicker target acquisition. The rear sight is fully adjustable for windage and elevation. Features a round butt grip frame with hardwood grips, a full stainless steel through hardened frame, cylinder, and barrel. It's a two and three quarter inch barrel. The bolt circle on the charge holes was expanded slightly to accommodate for the eight shots. It has a relieved cylinder so that you can use full moon clips, speed loader, or one at a time. Having eight shots is a nice added feature for putting some rounds down range with your friends. The outside diameter of the cylinder remains the same, so it still fits in a standard Red Hawk holster. The Ruger Red Hawk 357 Magnum 8 shot is available at your local firearms retailer. Please visit Ruger.com for full technical specifications. here with Daniel Lafintz and we are here to introduce the new DD5. It's the V3 through V5 and it comes in 308, 65 Creedmoor and 260 Remington. You guys have been waiting for the 65 Creedmoor and it took us a while to perfect it, but here it is. This is the V5. It comes in a 20 inch chrome line barrel with a rifle plus one gas system with an adjustable gas block that has two positions, suppressed and unsuppressed. It has our new charging handle, which is fully ambidextrous, and our brand new bolt carrier group, which is super finished and DLC coated with a proprietary bolt material. So you guys are gonna love this rifle. Our other variations are the V5 and 260 Remington, which comes with a 20 inch and the same gas system. And the V4 is our 18 inch, which comes in all three calibers. It has a rifle link gas system. And the V3, which is the 308 16 inch with an intermediate gas system. DD5 V3 through V5 uppers are backwards compatible along with the bolt carrier group with the V1 and V2 DD5s. This is the Daniel Defense DD5.
going to hit the market the following year. So they did not want to put out the concept gun without the side loading gate. Now that Henry Repeating Arms introduced the side loading gate, the X gun has been born. Henry has never put a synthetic stock on any of their centerfire rifles. This is the first. Now, the reason why they went with a synthetic stock instead of a stained wood stock like we had in the concept gun is because synthetic stocks, they're a little bit lighter, but not only that, they will hold up to the harshest of elements. The synthetic stock has a pick rail right on the bottom of the forearm of the stock. It also has two M-lock slots on the left and right hand side. This will give you two extra spots to put a flashlight or laser. On the rear of the rifle is a rubber butt pad. This particular firearm is chambered in 4570 and let me tell you, you will want that rubber butt pad there. The receiver is drilled and tapped for a rail if you want to put a red dot or an optic of your choice. The X-Gun has fiber octave sights both on the front and rear of the rifle. This will allow for quick target acquisition. In reading the comments on the X-Gun concept two years ago, everyone wanted a threaded option. All the X-Guns are threaded. The synthetic stock also has a built-in sling mount both on the forearm and also on the butt of the rifle. Since last year when the side loading gates were introduced, you guys have been wanting the big boy calibers. The X-Gun is not only available in the 4570, which you see here, it's also available in 410, 38, 357, 44 mag, and also 45 Colt. Henry is very pleased on how their X-Gun has turned out, and they know you will be also. Now there's gonna be more on the X-Gun here on Henry TV, so don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions on the X-Gun, you can put them in the comments below, go over to the Facebook page, Twitter page, or Instagram pages of Henry Repeating Arms and ask those questions there. And remember, if it's not made in America, it's not gonna be made at all.